Hi, it's Stuart McPhee. If you're not trading right now, market conditions aren't quite right. I just thought I'd give you a bit of an idea, a bit of a concept that I've, uh, I've thought about that uh, you may be able to think about as you are just revisiting and reviewing your trading plan and your own approach uh, in this time of incredible volatility in the market. And it's all about comfort. You see, um, last year I was doing a presentation to quite a large group of people and I was talking about the physical, practical trading and the decisions that we're making and how we're making them. And I spoke about two things that I think you should feel consistently, you should experience consistently when you are making your trading decisions. And they are confidence and comfort, the two C words. Confidence in your own approach and your plan, your methodology and what you're doing on a daily basis and comfort in the risk that you are taking and comfort in the decisions that you are making in that they're the are the right decisions to be making. And this came on the back that I was just talking about all the decisions that we have to make when we're trading are counterintuitive. They go against our natural human tendencies. At which point someone in the audience actually just questioned that and said, how if we're making all these decisions which are against human nature, against our natural tendencies, how do we then feel comfortable making those decisions? And I call this concept or this idea ultra comfort. It's almost beyond comfort. See, I think we need to get into a situation, a level of confidence, a level of competence, perhaps a level of humility almost, where the decisions that we are making, we are comfortable making them, yet because they are against our natural tendencies and they are counterintuitive, make most people in the market, most traders feel terribly uncomfortable so uncomfortable that they often shy away from what they should be doing and move towards what makes them feel best inside and what makes, you know, what sits best with them. Well, we know that over time there are principles and rules that work, we need to follow them, and they go against our natural tendencies. So we need to deliver, you know, develop this level of competence and humility almost where we are routinely making decisions, feeling incredibly comfortable doing it, yet most other people in the market feel terribly uncomfortable making exactly the same decisions. And I call this idea ultra comfort. We need to move almost beyond nature and you know, our natural tendencies and how we naturally feel about things. We need to move beyond that and develop you know, and attain this level of ultra uh, comfort. Which also makes me think about another exercise that I often run in my uh, presentations and probably now that I'm telling you about it now I'll probably never get away with it ever again um, but I'll, I'll do that just to let you know this idea that I came up with and, and how it works and how it really brings to the fore this whole idea of being comfortable in what we're doing and not wanting to get out of that uh, natural comfort zone. You see in a lot of presentations I run I'll be well into the presentation let's say I'm 30 minutes into a presentation and this more works with a very large group of people, let's say one or 200 people. So I'm well into the presentation and then I ask for a volunteer to come up on stage and join me up on stage. But I deliberately do not make eye contact with anyone in the audience when I ask for the volunteer. So I'll be looking down at the lectern, my notes, and I'll talk into the microphone and just say, I'll look for my next uh, session, I need a volunteer from the audience please. And I'll make, as I said, a deliberate point of not eye, making eye contact with anyone because if you do that, they almost feel that obligation, oh, he's talking to me, I better get up on stage and join him. So I deliberately don't do that. I just mess around with my papers, my notes, and sure enough, 10 seconds will go by of just utter silence and no one's joined me up on stage. So again, I'll say, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I just, uh, you know, I need a volunteer for my next session. But again, not making eye contact with anyone. Well, of course, this goes on because no one wants to get up and join me on stage. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Well, this almost gets awkward where no one's joining me and everyone's starting to wonder whether the presentation will continue unless someone joins me. And invariably, someone will just say, oh, yes, okay, I'll go up. Almost to break the silence and the awkwardness, someone will invariably say, oh, okay, I'll come up and they'll join me up on stage. The thing is, though, once they join me on stage, I really have nothing for them to do. And in fact, in recognition of them making the effort to come up on stage in front of everybody, I'll normally give them a free copy of my book, shake their hand, say thanks, and send them back into the audience, at which you know, that person normally gets a round of applause. But why do I ask for that volunteer? 
I ask for that volunteer and it comes back to this comfort issue. We are so comfortable in our own little zone and what we're comfortable you know, doing. And, and when I ask for a volunteer, I'm literally saying to someone, are you prepared to come up here and potentially make a fool of yourself on stage in front of 200 people? And of course, everyone in the audience thinks, what do I do? Do I go up on stage and potentially make a fool of myself? Or do I sit right here in my chair where I feel very comfortable and secure? And of course, everybody wants to stay in their chair, stay, stay in that comfort zone where they feel most secure and not put themselves at risk where they're potentially gonna make a fool of themselves. So it's that whole idea of what do we do? Do we make, you know, do we follow the natural tendency and sit in that comfort zone or do we need to move beyond that comfort zone to this idea of ultra comfort? I think we need to do that. We need to move what makes us, you know, that, that most comfortable and we need to really move, you know, into that level of confidence where we routinely make decisions that most people feel very uncomfortable doing. That's what I want you to, to you know, develop that level of competence and attain that uh, ultra comfort. Perhaps the way the market is right now, as I said, it might just be a time to be reviewing your own approach and your methodology and your plan, you know, whilst you may sit out. And I've had plenty of emails from people saying, oh, I've just started trading in the last month or so, it's not really working out for me. And I'm feeling really sorry for them, thinking, I don't think you could have picked a worse time in the last 10 years to commence your trading career. So if, if you know, the time is not right for you and you're sitting out, then maybe it's a great time to go back and review your own plan, your own approach, your methodology, and of course the mindset. And when you do that, have a think about ultra comfort and attaining a level of competence and humility where you can routinely make decisions very, very comfortably that make most other people terribly uncomfortable. I'll talk with you soon.